for tonight's Community Gem segment. And for that, we are headed to Western Erie County, a place where there's big plans for the public to learn more about a Gerard family. The family is typically celebrated during the community's Dan Rice days in town with tours being offered on the late family's estate. But tonight, we're taking you inside and what we found was pretty amazing to see. Cars pass by this sign on Main Street in Girard every day. It carries the name of the Battles family, taking place from the late 1800s and into the early 1900s. The Battles family were prominent uh, West County family, initially starting in farming and then getting into manufacturing and banking. The family patriarch, Rush Battles, founded the Webster Battles Bank. His life is chronicled in this room on the first floor of this yellow house. And so is that of his daughter, Charlotte Elizabeth Battles, who inherited the estate and carried on his local legacy. A legacy that the public can enjoy by going room to room and taking in original items from that time in history. Cal Pfeiffer is the executive director of the Hagen History Center, formerly the Erie County Historical Society, which oversees the Battles Estate. We have the extension of the Erie Canal that runs through the property with hiking trails that the public can uh, access. The public can also rent this yellow home and property around it, which sits on 120 acres. Rustic farm weddings, and they can use the seasonal apartment um, and stay for a week, a month, for the whole season. He's talking about the yellow house also being an Airbnb. Two bedrooms, including a living room and updated kitchen. But while there's plans to also update the first floor, the second home on the Battles estate called the White House is a time warp. Decades old spices remain in the pantry, as do furnishings in each room. There's five bedrooms in this home, now museum, and this was Charlotte Elizabeth's bedroom. She was a world traveler, and as you can see, much of the stuff remains intact as it was from the 1950s when she passed away. There's even dry cleaning still intact in this closet in one of the other bedrooms. It's meticulously stayed this way for decades, but there's future plans for this White House too. Cal says the History Center has pending grants for various improvement projects. Projects that will showcase the rich history of a family that carries a name on display for all to see. Interested in a tour, maybe having an event, staying in the Airbnb or there? There is contact information when you head to our website, eriennewsnow.com. Click on this Community gem story. But you know, with the plans this summer to refresh the property, volunteers are needed. So if you're involved in a civic group, a youth group, you're welcome to reach out, play a part in the beautification and the restoration. And also our Lisa Adams will have more on both the Battles Estate and the Hagen History Center coming up this weekend on her show, The Insider.